Welcome back warriors to the channel. Today we have another Apex Legends video for you. And in this video, we're gonna do a custom training course to help you improve your aim in Apex Legends season six. But first guys, I wanna say thank you so much for the support that I've been getting lately. I really do appreciate it. And I wanna announce right now that once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna be doing an Apex Legends coin giveaway on your preferred platform. So. Link will be down in the description below on how to uh, qualify or enter into that giveaway. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support. I wanted to give something back to you guys and the best way I can think I can do it right now is once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna do three 100 coin or 1000 coin giveaway to you guys, the subscribers. So guys, thank you so much again for all your support and continued support to the channel. So right off the bat, guys, I want you to come down into the fine range, get on the center platform. And these are three drills I like to do to kind of warm up. And I got my trusty R301 in the vault. Guys, uh, if you want, you can put a sight on the R301. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but you can use one. Otherwise, just get two purple mags and about 300 rounds of ammo in each gun. Okay, so the first drill that we're going to do is kind of like your flick shotting, kind of like your... Um, you know, you're testing to see how much your accuracy is to see, you know, if something's too fast, if your sensitivity is too high, maybe you need to lower it. So what I like to do is I like to come onto the center platform here and I like to be right over the top of him about medium range. And you can do this with the R301, the Volt or whichever gun that you guys like to use in Apex. So I'm going to use the R301. And the, the thing with this drill is what you want to do is you want to ADS aim and you just want to flick to your targets, right? You just want to flick, right? And you want to do about three three like rows like or three sets of each side right get three sets of each side and always try to come back to the center over knee over the top of the dummy okay that's what you want to do and, and then once you get three sets down then you can move on to the next stage and uh another thing you could do with this is just to practice it with each of your guns okay or whichever guns you like to use try to stand still if you can moving does help but just try to get back and flick to these targets okay you can use the wingman we used to do this with the wingman a lot before we got really bad with the wingman so now we're just doing it the great thing about this drill is to help you kind of understand your sensitivity and see if your ads is too high now if you're if you're going to these flicks and you're flicking and you're getting back and maybe it's too slow or you're missing a lot of shots you know maybe you need to increase it now if you're flicking and, and it's going too fast and you're not hitting anything then maybe you need to slow it down okay if you, if you go to press right on the joystick or left and you're all the way over here you know if you're all the way over here when you're flicking then you know you probably need to lower it down but this is a drill i like to do to help increase your accuracy try to get back and try to practice those flick shots for when you're in the game see and my left flick shot to the farthest is not as good as my right as you guys can tell right so this is a drill I like to do to help you guys increase your, your accuracy in Apex and just try to flick back and forth, okay? All right, guys. The next drill that we're going to do to help you guys improve your aim in Apex Legends is tracking. I know tracking is probably the hardest thing to do in Apex when you're trying to get down your sensitivity. But in this video, we're going to try to help you out. So you see these two moving targets. We got one right here and one right here. All I want you to do starting out is to just follow the target. Track the target as best you can. If you're when you're going right or left, depending on which way the target's going and you're a little bit too far, you know, or you're a little bit behind, then you may need to adjust your sensitivity to this. But just this just helps you practice tracking a target. OK, and then you could switch over to the other one. Now, once you feel like you've gone back and forth just for a couple times on these, you can rotate to the ones in the far back if you want. But these two I like to use because you are at a pretty good medium range. OK. Once you feel like you have done that, get your two favorite guns again. Same thing. No attachments, guys. I didn't mention that before. But make sure when you're practicing these drills with no attachments, okay? The the mag and the sights don't change anything about the guns. It's the barrels and the, and the stocks that you don't want to have. So you don't want anything to help you with your recoil or anything to help you assist in, in uh, with, your sh with your shooting or your tracking. So what I want you to do is just follow this target, and then I want you to light it up. And try to land as much as you can, preferably 200 or 300 in damage stacks, 2, 300 damage stacks, 250 damage stacks. If you can get over 250 or 200, then you're doing really, really good because then you're going to be able to knock somebody with at least the purple armor. Almost 300 stacks, switch to the other gun, right? And just track it. 
Just track it while it's moving. Now, I will say this. Once the target gets to whichever end that it's going to, you'll see that it, it kind of slows down just a little bit as it's changing back. That would... That makes it a little bit easier when you're tracking, but these these targets move at a decent enough pace to help you practice your targeting. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, then go to the targets in the back and try to get, you know, 100, 150, 200 damage stacks to the ones in the back. They're a little bit farther away, but you can try. Otherwise, sit here on this hill over the middle platform and practice tracking on each of these. What this does is help you track your, your targets in game. Now, I know that these targets don't move as fast as some players do in Apex, but this will help you with your tracking. And I know everybody has issues with tracking in this game. And I know it can be really, really difficult to hone in your sensitivity and, you know, track players that are moving incredibly fast. Apex is a really fast game. And I know it can be difficult, right? So definitely come in here, warm up in the firing range, and practice these two drills. And we're going to move on to the third one right now. All right, let's try this again. The third and final drill I want to do for you guys is slide jumping shooting and or flicking okay so we're going to use this course we're going to go all the way down and then all the way back this is a great way to practice we're going to use all three dummies the idea here is once you get close to your dummy you're just going to jump slide or slide and turn and shoot the target in apex legends everybody's slide jumping and moving all over the place really really fast so this is a great way to hone your skills and improve your aim especially in those close quarters so this is what we're going to do we're going to start off we're going to run we're going to slide jump turn and shoot the guy right or what you could do is you could just slide turn and shoot right and then just keep moving if you want to practice on both you can slide one way down get some shots on keep going reload slide again right and then just keep going you don't necessarily have to kill your target or one clip you just want to be able to slide and turn and be able to hit your target so on the way back after practicing that try to slide jump slide which can be a little bit more difficult, or you can just practice slide jumping. So what you can do is you come in, you just slide jump, turn onto your target, and then move. Okay, we're gonna come down here, slide jump like you're coming around a corner, boom, finish the guy off. This is great for like honing down your skills as far as movement, and then as far as turning and shooting. A lot of players like to do the Call of Duty thing where you're just kind of like the target's in front of you and you're just going to aim and shoot, okay? But a lot of times the targets get all over the place, so being able to utilize these things around corners, through doors, anything that really does help you out. So let's do it one more time. Now we're going to slide again, right? Come in and slide. This is really, really great for your hip firing skills. If you want, you could ADS when you're doing this, right? It's totally up to you. Use both the guns, again, that you're comfortable with, and then you can slide jump. Both of these drills really do help you out when you're turning. Even if you don't kill the target, you just keep going. It practices your slide jumping and your turning and shooting. It really does help your, your ADS out. Now, let's try slide jump, turning, and ADS. Right? That's a little bit harder, but you could definitely practice that on this drill. It's a little bit a little bit harder as opposed to just sliding and just adsing or hip firing i mean that's a little bit easier when you're sliding and just adsing this would be great to improve your ads skills this is going to help you improve your movement skills this drill overall is just really really good i think and make sure you get a maximum run for maximum slide too as you guys saw right there like i didn't get a full slide so like if i jump and then i just like I don't get a full slide. That's not a full slide. That's like a half slide. You want to be able to full slide in to a fight, whatever you want to do, and then just shoot. All right, guys. That wraps up our training course for today, our custom training course. Please go do this every single time you go to warm up and get on Apex Legends. I know it helps me out a lot. Even if you don't want to you know, do this in the firing range, just go jump into some pub games and try it out. It really does help you out in the long run. If you just spend 15, 20 minutes inside these, you know, the firing range practicing these courses and stuff that we've lined out for you guys, it really does help your aim out and just helps you get warm, helps your muscles you know remember what how you're shooting and movement is in this game these drills really do come in handy when i warm up every single day before i get on apex so practice them use your favorite guns use different guns that you haven't used before and literally just beam people 
Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's video. I hope that this training course really does help you guys aim out. Let me know down in the comments if it does or not, or what you guys do to warm up and you know get warm and improve your aim in Apex Legends. If you guys have any questions about settings or anything like that, I'll link the video down in my chat about my settings video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. That really does help me out. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, guys, so you don't miss out on all the future tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And for me, Warlock, as always, guys, stay game. Peace.